creating a faux 3D cylinder in After Effects step-by-step. Step. step one, building and animating the side coins. Start by duplicating the faux 3D coin layer twice, rotate both copies 90 degrees to form the cylinder's sides. At the one second mark, keyframe their position. Go back to zero seconds and move them apart horizontally. Then at two seconds, paste the first keyframes to loop the motion. Step two, making the curved surface. Turn on rulers and draw a rectangle between the coins. Lower the opacity for better visibility. Use the pen tool to add points on the vertical edges. Hold Alt, click the points to enable Bezier handles, and curve the sides. Step three, animating the curve. At zero seconds, keyframe the path property. At the one second mark, adjust the shape to match the arc of the coins. Just like you see in the video, use the Bezier handles to carefully bend each side. This part might take a bit of time, so go slow and focus on getting a smooth, natural curve. Even small tweaks can make a big difference in the final look. Don't worry if it's not perfect on the first try. Refining the shape is part of the process. This is where the illusion really starts coming together. If it looks flipped, rotate the shape 180 degrees. Step four, refining the animation. Lower the shape's opacity for clarity. Then go halfway between the two existing keyframes and create a third keyframe to fix any imperfections in the animation. This smooths out the path transition and enhances the look. Step five, completing the cylinder. At one second, trim the shape layer's duration. Duplicate it, reverse the keyframes, and place it beneath the bottom coin. Copy it once more, reset rotation, and place it just above the previous shape. Duplicate the last shape and reset the rotation. Step six, adding details. Add internal shapes for highlights or reflections. Mask them to fit the curves. This adds depth and realism to your faux 3D glass cylinder. 